Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite voice acting in movies. Yes, voice acting is also acting, but of course using the vocal cords. Using a powerful and great voice, getting a good voice acting performance. Yes, this is mostly big in animation, but that's for another top 10 list. Yes, in this top 10 list, there's no animated movies. Yes, I'm doing another top 10 list after that for the top 10 best voice acting in an animated film, but this is in actual live action movies, voice acting. Whether it's a CGI character, or a possessed doll, or a narrator, or a robot, yes, voice acting is just amazing and it requires, again, acting. Some people say all they do is just talk in a microphone, that's it, no. There's a lot more to voice acting. You have to show a lot of emotion. You have to have a lot of compelling characteristics within the voice to establish what the character and who the character really is. And and that's all good voice acting. So yeah, I'm here to count down my top 10 favorite voice acting performances. All right, let's get to it. Let's see it. Coming in at number 10 is Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and Volume 2. Yes, everyone's like, what about Vin Diesel? That's I am Groot. And yes, Vin Diesel does show a lot of personality in his very few words he says, I am Groot and we are Groot and stuff. But... I think Bradley Cooper gives a great performance as Rocket Raccoon. For one thing, you barely recognize that's Bradley Cooper. And yes, he got a lot of inspiration from Joe Pesci's character in freaking uh, Goodfellas. But yeah, his character is just so established. Anytime I hear that voice now, I just think of Rocket Raccoon. And Bradley Cooper just adds this layers to his voice in, the move, in all these movies and stuff. He's like this cocky raccoon who's also a brilliant mind, but also has a lot, a lot of heart in him, and he doesn't want people to leave him. And again, that shows all within the voice acting of Bradley Cooper. And yeah, Bradley Cooper is a very good actor, but yeah, I always think one of his best performances is Rocket Raccoon because he shows so much depth and emotionality in this, vo in this voice acting performance. And yeah, it's one of my favorites. Coming number nine is Brad Dwarf as Chucky in all the Chucky's movies. Yes, hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Yes, despite what I think about a lot of these movies, the Child's Play movies and stuff, a lot of them are absolutely ridiculous, but Brad Dwarf does a bang-up job doing the voice of Chucky. He is so great. He does the child voice great, and he does the intimidating voice truly awesome. I can't mimic it because I'm not good at voices. I'm not a voice actor. These guys are the voice actors, and Brad Dwarf does an amazing job. Every Chucky movie, even the really fucking bad ones, like Child's Play 3, even the shitty ones, he does a very good job. He's very intimidating, he's very scary, but he's also darkly hilarious, and yeah, one of the best voice actings ever in a horror film, and best voice acting in any movie. He's amazing. Coming number eight is Paul Bettany as Jarvis in the MCU movies, yes. And later on he does become Vision, which doesn't count because that's actually Paul Bettany. But when he's just the robot, when he's the artificial intelligence Jarvis, mostly in Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, and the first Avengers movie, He's just Jarvis, he's a machine that helps Tony Stark out, he runs his house, runs all his other stuff, all his technology, it's all run by Jarvis, and Jarvis is just a great voice. Paul Benny, again, fantastic choice, because Paul Benny, one, well, he's British, and so they can really class up the robotics and stuff, yeah. Even to Tony Stark to have a really classy robot like Jarvis, and yeah, it's a fantastic performance, I love it. But when I first saw Iron Man, I didn't even know that was Paul Benny, I'm like, whoa, oh my god, that's Paul Benny, like, I didn't even realize that. And I'm a big Paul Bettany fan, but I didn't realize that because I was just so sucked into this machine. I really bought it. I really thought Paul Bettany was a robot. Like, I thought that was a robot. I didn't even know that was Paul Bettany. I thought that was Jarvis the robot. But yeah, that's just how good his acting was. Coming to number seven as Alec Baldwin as the narrator in The Royal Tenenbaums. The Royal Tenenbaums is a very good, quirky comedy and... Definitely not my favorite Wes Anderson movie. It's not Moonrise Kingdom or Rushmore or uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, but The Royal Tenenbaums is still a very good, very quirky, hilarious county with great performances. Gene Hackman, Ben Stiller, Gwyneth Paltrow, Owen Wilson, Bill Murray. Everyone's great, but one of my favorite performances, actually probably my favorite performance in the movie, is the narrator by Al Baldwin. His narration, Al Baldwin has a very good voice. Like, as you saw in, like, Rise of the Guardians when he plays Santa Claus, Really good voice acting. I didn't even know that was Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin's a better voice actor than he actually is an actor himself. 
He's so good as this narrator who establishes the tone, establishes the setting, establishes all the characters in a very funny, weird, whimsical, quirky way. And Al Baldwin just does it so well. He sets the tone for what this movie is with his narration. And it's just, it's really funny. It's probably one of my favorite narrations in any movie. Yes, everyone's like, what about Morgan Freeman and Marshall the Penguins? Very good narration, but... This narration is just so weird, so bizarre, so whimsical and quirky. It works perfectly in a Wes Anderson movie, and just it works perfectly in the Royal Tenenbaums. Just one of my favorite voice acting performances. It's just so good. Coming to number six is Kevin Spacey as Gertie in the movie Moon. Yes, Moon. This is another great vo robot voice. Yeah, one of my favorite kind of voice actings are robot voices. And Kevin Spacey, again, great actor and a great voice actor. He just does a good job playing this robot. Has the big smiley face and stuff. And he's just there on the moon helping Sam Rockwell and his clones. Spoilers, all out and stuff on the moon base. And Gertie is a great robot with a, with a very distinct personality. Yes, he does have personality because he does have feelings. He feels sorry for Sam Rockwell. He wants to help Sam Rockwell, but he also needs to get all the science done. And he does need to keep him at that base and stuff. I won't say why he needs to keep him there, but he needs to keep him there. And it's a great voice performance. It's a very good performance. It has a lot, has a lot of care in it. And at times he does sound like he's depressed, but... It's just the robotic voice in him, and it just I think it's done very well, and his one on and his back and forth with Sam Rockwell just works perfectly, and yeah, I think it's a great voice performance. Coming to number five is speaking of depressed robots, Alan Rickman as Marvin in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is based off a great book, and this is a very underrated British comedy science fiction film. I stand by it that this movie is very good. Some people hate it, but I really enjoy it, and I love Alan Rickman's performance as this as this robot, this very depressed robot that looks like he wants to commit suicide already. He's this big robot with this big head, big eyes, and it's just Alan Rickman's very depressed and very dry humor, and it just works perfectly for the story and what we're into and the wackiness of this adventure. And yeah, it's Alan Rickman. It's Alan Rickman. I need I say more? It's Alan Rickman. Coming to her four is Christine Kavanaugh as Babe in the movie Babe. Yes, Babe the Pig. Yes, I think we all fell in love with this pig when we saw Babe. Babe, fantastic film. It's about a talking pig, goes on a farm, and basically he does what dogs start doing. Yes, he starts rounding up sheep and stuff, and yeah, the owners eventually want to kill the pig and eat it, but when they find out he can round up the sheep like a dog, then they use them, they use them for their advantage, and they put him in a dog contest and all that stuff, and this is just such a cute, heartwarming, great film that was nominated for Best Picture, and Christine, Christine Kavanaugh does an amazing job doing the voice of Babe. She's a girl voicing a child boy pig and stuff, but that's not the first time she's done it. She played also, I think, Chucky from uh, Rugrats? Was it Chucky? Yeah, she, she's done a lot of kid voices for other, like, cartoons and stuff, but Babe is not a cartoon. It is a actual live-action movie with talking animals, and Christine Kavanaugh does an amazing job playing the voice of Babe. Not only is it great because she's an adult female playing a little boy pig, but she just has a lot of care, a lot of humanity to this pig, and she just brings on the adorableness that is this amazing pig called Babe. And yeah, great movie, great acting. Coming number three is Scarlett Johansson as Samantha in the movie Her. Yes, I have talked a lot about this movie. I've talked about it in my favorite movies of the decade, science fiction films, my favorite movie couples, movie robots. Everyone knows that I love this character, this artificial intelligence, Samantha. And I love her relationship with Theodore, played by Joaquin Phoenix. And Scarlett Johansson was just perfect casting. She just has this beautiful voice that just adds so much layers and so much humanity to this voice. Not only is this voice very smart, very charming, very charismatic, but she's just lovely to talk to because the whole movie is Theodore and Samantha just talking about each other, learning about each other, the way she studies humans and learns to be more like a human being and stuff. It's fascinating to her and you learn more with her and it's just an amazing experience and just a fantastic performance. I actually think that she probably should have been nominated just for a voice. She was like one of the lead characters in this movie and she's probably one of the most compelling characters in it. Theodore's fantastic, played by Joaquin Phoenix, but yeah, Scarlett Johansson, I think, steals this movie. Her performance is just so lovely, so amazing. I was falling in love with her just watching the movie. That's how amazing her performance was. 
Coming number two is Douglas Rain as HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey, yes. Speaking of robots that scare, scare the ever-loving shit out of me, HAL 9000. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. Like, this is a scary robot, and it's just like this big little glass thing with this red bulb, this red light and stuff. It's just like the, eye, the red seeing eye looking at into your soul and stuff, and just... HAL 9000 is a great robot, a great villain, and a great character, and Douglas Rain, just that voice is just so scary, so intimidating, just like, ugh, like, any time I watch 2001 Space Odyssey and I hear Douglas Rain's voice as HAL 9000, it scares me. Every time, it just terrifies me, and it's, again, it's one of the great performances. It is just a damn right terrifying performance, and just so good. And the number one best voice acting performance, in my opinion, is, of course, James Earl Jones as Darth Vader in any Star Wars movie he's in. Yes, that's including Episode 3 when he does this. No! Yes. James Earl Jones is Darth Vader. David Prowse does. David Prowse actually is in the suit to doing all the movements and stuff, but James Earl Jones is Darth Vader. That is his voice. Yes. Just so good. He is... It's so amazing, his performance. It's so big and grand and so intimidating. From when, right when you see him in Star Wars, when he's just strangling the guy, you just hear this powerful voice. Just, it's intimidating. It's scary. It's just sheer brilliance and stuff. It's just like, it's so good. It's so good. Like, any, anyone, if you ask anyone in the world what is the best voice acting in any movie, it's James Earl Jones as Darth Vader. It's Darth Vader. It's amazing. It's brilliant. It's my favorite. So yeah, that was my top 10 favorite voice acting performances in a live action movies. Yes, I'll be doing the animation list in my next video, but yeah. So yeah, comment section below, please tell me what is your top 10 favorite voice acting performances in a live action movie? Comment below, let me know, and as always, if you liked this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.